Okay, so here we are looking at the Q code from unit one. And what we're gonna do is try to figure out what kind of assertions we can add to this Q code that would um, make it more robust with respect to mistakes. So we go through the code, and this is the same code we already looked at. And what you can see is at the end, I've added a check rep function. And what check rep is, is a function that stands for check representation. And this is a function that we commonly add to a data structure or to other functions that checks the variables in the program for self-consistency. And so what it's gonna do is basically trying to terminate the program if some invariant that we know should hold over the program's data structures fails to hold. What I first wanna do though is run this program. And when I run it, what's gonna happen is some testing code that I haven't shown you is going to call, create a queue and call its methods in a loop. And it's gonna look at the output of the queue and try to find any mistakes. So the test function has a test oracle built into it that I wrote that's gonna to try to see if our test is, see if our queue is correct. So what we hope is that it's correct. And also we know that the check wrap is gonna succeed because it contains no assertions right now. So let's run. Okay, so now that we've seen that our queue passes the test harness, let's see if we can harden up the queue a little bit by thinking of a good assertion to add to it. And so I think that the first assertion that we're gonna add is going to be over the size variable. And if you recall from earlier, the size variable tracks the number of elements currently in the queue. So let's go ahead and add an assertion about the size. So one thing we know about the size variable is it should never be negative because we can, can't possibly ever have a negative number of elements in the queue. So let's assert that self.size is greater than or equal to zero. And the other thing we can assert about self.size is that it never exceeds self.max, which is the constant variable, which counts the most elements that could ever be in our queue. So here we're asserting self.size is not negative and doesn't exceed self.max. And so now when I run the test harness again, we're going to again check the queue for functional correctness and also call the check rep. So let's see what happens. So it printed a finished over the old finished and so, so that's good. Okay, so, so that invariant was good. So what I wanna do next is I'm gonna break our queue. So I'm gonna break our queue by making the in queue fail to properly reset the tail variable when it overflows. So what we have here is logic that when self.tail is equal to self.max, we reset it back to zero. I'm gonna set it to one instead. So let's see what happens when we run the queue now. So it failed. And what it did is it failed in an assertion inside the test harness. So this is in my test function down here on line 90. See, we, we only have 40 lines of this code. So way below is my test function and we failed there. So what this means is we've messed with our data structure in such a way that it actually returns a wrong result. So this is a, this is a result not being able to the expected result assertion. And so what we've done is we've created a data structure that's broken, and when it returns wrong results, this is gonna be deeply buried in some program that we care about. So it's gonna return the wrong results to some deeply buried part of the program, and probably that program is gonna keep running for a while, and it's gonna to start to do very bad things. It's gonna lose track of web pages, or it's going to start to do other things that we don't like. And so what we want is to write a tighter set of assertions for our queue so that our check rep can catch this, before we actually return the wrong thing to the user. And so this is your API quiz. Your API quiz is write an assertion that goes undermine in the check wrap, which catches the bug in the queue before it can actually misbehave. The trick you're gonna have to do is, since our buggy code set self.tail to one, that's in range. So another invariant besides setting, saying self.size is between zero and, and self.max inclu inclusive, is we could have asserted the same things for self.head and self.tail. But the bug here is not going to violate those particular checks. Rather, what's gonna violate is a relative check between the values of head, tail, and size. And so that's what you should be thinking about to add your assertion here. And so what I want you to do is come up with the correct data structure invariant to assert here so that that assertion fails when we run our queue tester before we actually return a wrong result. And additionally, what we're gonna do is we're going to check your assertion against a correct version of the queue. So we're gonna take your check rec code and put it in a correct version of the queue and check that it doesn't fail spuriously. So what we wanna do is you have, an, what we want you to do is write an assertion that's tight enough that it catches the error that we've introduced here, but not so tight that it always fails. Okay, well, I hope you'll have fun with this.